And that one is going to be hmm, a bit of an experience now and a challenge because Rashika and Boris, they're both sitting at Sensors, which is at a, hosted at the Paris Observatory. And I'm receiving on all channels information about how we're going to you know, make this uh, presentation now become a reality because the fact is they're really on a hill in, in Paris uh, where they have a good overview about Paris, but they have, seems like no connection. So there's no cell phone. I have been there two weeks ago. And in fact, there's no, almost no cell phone connection because you're looking at a space, at the sky. You don't want to be disturbed by so profane activities like calling someone. And also their VPN is blocking them, their audio at least. So I think they really want to make sure there that people focus on their work. Um, and we are going to find some way around this. Uh, let's have a look. What is the information? Maybe someone can join me on the stage and tell me how we're going to do it. I heard something about Mumble. Da, da, da. Meantime, Ms. Mantos is telling me something, uh, but that's not related. Good. We should. Uh, ah, hello. Vasilis, hi. Can you say hello? Yeah, perfect. Hello. Hello. Hi. Can you Rashika, hear me? I can hear your voice. Great. <laughs> so I assume <laughs> it works like this that red, but uh, he's kind of using the account of Vasilis and he's connected to you. Anyway, you somehow figured out how it would work. Someone is also controlling the presentation. So I will hand over to you, just a few words. Rashika is, um, is, has a master in aerospace engineering at Isai Supoero. Uh, it sounds Spanish when I pronounce it, but it's actually French. Um, and uh, you're also, yeah, we, you're going to present docs and open source software that you're working on. And also you uh, have good background on model-based system engineering. Uh, you're doing this at Sensors. So without further ado, uh, I open the floor to you and um, please go ahead. Thank you for the introduction, Arthur. Okay, so I'm Rashika Zen and I'm a research engineer at Sensors, which is the sp uh, space pole of PSL University, hosted at the Paris Observatory. Today I'm going to talk uh, about our uh, in-house software called Docs, which is an open source software to make space mission profiles. Thank you. Um, so, uh, so in the last decade, the use of CubeSats has significantly increased, and uh, we are using them for uh, missions ranging from the low Earth orbit to interplanetary missions. This has created new demands of mission profile analysis tools. By mission profile analysis, I mean not only computing the trajectory, but also compu uh, computing the system budgets. For example, the analysis of pointing, power, and uh, data volume. So uh, some tools already exist in the market, but uh, uh, they cannot either perform the complete mission profile, or they are not affordable for everyone. So to uh, overcome this gap, we are developing docs. Which, is, uh, uh, which stands for Design and Operation Cross-Checking Services. It's an open source software and it has uh, uh, seven, it will be composed of seven modules which will compute the trajectory, the uh, quaternions, the intervisibility data link and the onboard power of the satellite during the uh, mission. So all these modules are uh, uh, developed in Python and Redox is fully compatible with Ubuntu and Windows operating systems. In addition, we also have a remote service uh, that has been recently developed. So can you move to the next slide? Thank you. So an additional advantage of Docs is that it is compatible with the VPS, which is a software developed by the French Space Agency to animate and visualize satellites in a 3D environment. So uh, uh, till now, only three modules have been uh, developed. Uh, can you move to the next slide? Uh, next slide. Thank you. So till now, three, only three modules have been developed in Docs. Uh, they are Propagator, Intervisibility, and EPS. 
So first I will talk about the propagator. Next please. So uh, the propagate no uh, one previous slide please. Okay. There is some I think there is a numbered object. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, in any case, okay. So the propagator module of uh, DOCS uh, computes the deep space trajectories uh, for cruise, rendezvous, and proximity operations. is It is a very versatile module, as you can add uh, numerous gravitational and non-gravitational perturbations. In gravitational perturbations, you can have uh, um, point masses as well as complex bodies using spherical harmonics or any other complex models. Besides at docs, we believe that uh, the user should not be asked for the time step. So we have recently implemented uh, an adaptive time step integrator called IES15, which uh, uh, adapts the time step very accurately, and you can compute the uh, flyby trajectories with high com accuracy as compared to the traditional uh, Runge Gutta methods. So uh, yes, the next slide. Please. Thank you. So, uh, and in addition to the numerical engine, we have also implemented a time step manager that uh, uh, is needed for modules like uh, continuous propulsion. Um, so, uh, why it is needed? So, if you are using a uh, an integrator with a fixed time step and you have a time step equal to h, so on the left side, you the time vector you see on the left side, it will look like that. But if you need some uh, need to uh, do some propulsion burns in uh, between these time uh, time steps, so uh, the integrator will totally miss that. So the time step manager uh, modifies the time vector and inserts these and time steps inside in the time vector. In addition, uh, besides uh, uh, the propagator can be used by command line or the graphical user interface. On the right side, you see a graphical user interface, which is just a glimpse of the uh, actual GUI. And uh, uh, it has multiple tabs that helps you define your inputs uh, to produce a good trajectory. Okay, so before talking about the next uh, modules, I will like to introduce the concept of EVTF. EVTF stands for Event Files, and it, uh, they're used uh, uh, very often in space missions to structure the mission. Now, EVTFs are required for almost everything, and that's why we think in terms of EVTFs. An intervisibilities module is an uh, example of this concept. So uh, the, it, it computes the uh, intervisibilities with sun and the ground station passes, and produces an ev event file that you can see on the right-hand side. Uh, now, this event file basically tells you uh, the events that are happening at a at a particular time. So you can see the ingress and egress to the ground stations in this file. Now, in this uh, the intervisibilities module, we have used uh, parallelization to uh, for faster computations. And in addition to that, the accuracy of this event file is uh, uh, tunable to a uh, value even one second difference. Okay, so the next module is energy power simulator. It takes into account the solar arrays, uh, the configuration of the solar arrays, the cells and the battery, the modes of the mission, quaternions and the intervisibilities, and computes and uh, the power on board the mission and uh, generates outputs as you can see in uh, in the picture so this is uh, an example uh, displayed in vts so uh, on the energy in the energy row you can see that uh, mm, uh, you can see the uh, variation of your onboard power during the whole mission and uh, as it, as soon as the energy goes below uh, minim below the minimum level uh, a flag is generated in uh, red color. Uh, so this type of, uh, with this output, you can clearly see 
that you need to resize your uh, your power, uh, energy power energy power board and it helps in uh, basically the resizing of your cube set uh, okay as i told earlier that we have a remote service and we have recently started this so it helps to compute the mission profiles using our server and you do not require any installation of docs in your uh, own system uh, because of this you also need to you also have faster computations so it's very easy to use this remote service you can just send an email at the given email address and then our server creates an online repository for you and then you can just upload your inputs and the configuration files and you will have uh, your results in a few minutes or uh, depending on your test case uh, now census also gives uh, uh, provides support to nanosat teams in uh, the early phases of mission planning and designing uh, and we are currently giving uh, support to some internal as well as external teams now uh, we use docs extensively for uh, for this purpose and now on the uh, on the top right you can see a flow chart or uh, an this is an mdc architecture that we are using for uh, uh -huh, for a project and on the leftmost side you have we have the science inputs and in the center you have many models that help structure the project and you can see that docs is at uh, the center of this project structuring and then we uh, produce outputs that are just some text files the evdf files like i told earlier and uh, they can be read and even displayed in vds so uh, on the bot on the bottom you can see an example of uh, these chronograms in vds uh yes yeah, so these kind of uh, uh uh these kind of outputs help the project teams in uh, um in mission profile analysis basically uh so uh to conclude docs helps to structure your cube set project by computing the complete mission profile we have a propagator that has a smart numerical integrator and recently we uh Uh, we also wrote a paper on this, which has been accepted in the IEEE Aerospace Conference and will be published in uh, March 2022. Uh, it computes the intervisibility and the power, and uh, we will be developing uh, more modules in the near future. And uh, the advantage of Docs is that it is free and it is accessible for everyone. It's an open source software. And in addition, we also have a remote service. It Uh, it's not compatible with your uh, with your system and in the future we are uh, making it uh, faster and more user friendly and uh, we are developing the graphical user interface for the uh, for the modules that don't have one to uh, so to contact uh, uh, you can message us at the at the given email address on the right side and thank you for paying attention uh if anybody has Patrick, any questions uh, thanks very you. much thanks very much we heard you loud and clearly so this has okay, yes. worked yes <laughs> um okay there's some time lag but uh, it, it was amazing and we heard you and uh, we got the message and um yeah we are open for questions now So there was a clarification MBSE I mentioned this model based system engineering so that's basically everyone working well it's uh, yeah based on models in engineering rather than the just you know exchanging documents maybe you can elaborate a bit on this how do you um, mm -hmm. yes uh, sorry uh, could you please repeat the question uh the the model based system engineering how do you see this as a future for the uh, in uh, for cubesat development okay uh yes so uh the so the idea behind developing these uh, uh 
these models is to uh, is uh, to help the science teams so that they can uh, have an initial idea of uh, what are, uh, of the system budgets of their mission before approaching a space agency uh, and uh, they have more control over their own project than the space agency so that's the idea of uh, uh, the MDSC for the uh, project teams Good. I see a question from Juan Luis. Uh, can the propagator be used in standalone fashion? That means, does it have a Python or command line API, or does it need to be used in docs? No, actually, uh, uh, thank you for the question. Actually, all the modules are independent, and uh, they can be used alone. So, propagator can be completely used st standalone. Uh, you need to have uh, definitely Python if you're using it on your own system and you can use it via the command line or yes, thanks for the slide and uh, you can use it via command line or the user interface. Okay. And uh, if you don't want to install it, we also have a remote service. Sorry. Good. So you're providing this as a remote service for people who do not want to run it locally. I understand via yeah, email. Exactly. Um, there was a question. So uh, anyone can send an email? Yes, yes. Anyone can send an email. Uh, yeah, we, we need to just uh, mention the tag uh, in the subject server. Yeah, just below the email ID. And uh, you will get a link from the server where you can upload your uh, files. Okay, let's try this out and Maybe uh, if we do this all at once, uh, we can really stress test your server and uh, see what's happening <laughs> yes, there. Yes. I, also that that, <laughs> I also saw that you have this, uh, this uh, models very, well, modular, modular models. And I, I mentioned it already last time to you that uh, also because of the name docs, it might be interesting uh, uh, to dockerize uh, this, this whole thing because then you can also, yeah. it's maybe easier for other people to set it up locally if they if they want to run it locally. I'm sure some people here in the audience they have some Docker experience and maybe Docker and Docs, that could be a very nice combination. And um, yeah, it's, it's always good also to draw some connections uh, with the other presentations. So before you, we had Yash talking about uh, satellite events, and you were mentioning right now um, these event files. So satellite events, yeah. event files. Is there a connection? Like, um, at, uh, sorry, I can I did not. Uh, I could not attend the previous presentation because of the network issues, internet issues. Okay. And uh, so That's I will have to look into that. There is a connection. Okay, so but these event files are to describe formally uh, in kind of a protocol these events that are going to happen, and that could be anything like a ground station contact or uh, an eclipse that's going to happen, and that would be a, also a machine and human readable format um, to to yeah. distribute this information. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, that's right. That's correct. Very good. I think uh, we can make a connection here. Good. Then let's look at the clock. We have, um, yeah, we're coming close uh, to the end of the session. Thank you very much, uh, Rafika. And great that everything Thank worked you. out. Yes, yes, I'm happy. Thank you. Very good. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> so yeah, thanks to, to the people working in the background to to make this tunneling possible. So we managed to get into. Okay, I can hear some snakes. Now it's gone. Oh.